Hey everyone, here's a question from Rational Numbers and this type of questions are really important for 3 or 4 mark. Now the question is, find 5 rational numbers between 1 by 3 and 5 by 9. Now there are infinitely many rational numbers between a 2 rational numbers. So the numbers what you're getting may be different from the numbers which I got. Okay, it, it may be different from your teacher's answer, your friend's answer but that's alright. You have to just check is if these numbers are lying between them or not. Now how to check? I'll tell you at the end of the video how you can check if your answer is correct or not. Okay, so let us solve this. So we have to check here is if denominators are same or not. That's the very first step in solving this type of question. So you can see we have a denominator 3 and here we have a 9. So they are not same. So we're going to make them same. And how to do it? You might have learned how to do this. We have to take a LCM here. We're going to take a LCM of the denominator which is 3 and 9. So LCM of 3 and 9 will be 9. Right? Now I'm going to find the equivalent rational number of 1 by 3 and 5 by 9. For 5 by 9 it's not required because already denominator is 9. For 1 by 3 we have to find out. Now for 1 by 3 we have to find out its equivalent rational number where denominator should be 9. Now for equivalent rational number how can you find out? You can multiply or divide the given number but with what we have to do? See I, if I divide I'll not gonna get the 9 right? I have to multiply here. So with this I want 9 in the denominator which means I have to check here. So with 3 what I should multiply to get 9? It is 3. So multiply 3 in the denominator and also in the numerator. It's not like you should do it only in the denominator. What are you doing? Do it in the both numerator and denominator. So this will be equal to 3 by 9. And here this is the first number. So 1 by 3 is equivalent to 3 by 9. So in place of 1 by 3 I am going to take 3 by 9. And now why they are equal? See if I reduce this 3 and 9 if I cancel 3 1s are 3 3s are 9. I am going to get the same number 1 by 3. Okay. So in place of 1 by 3 I am going to consider 3 by 9. And for the second number which is 5 by 9 I am not going to do anything because already we have a 9 in the denominator. Now we have to find out 5 rational numbers between 3 by 9 and 5 by 9. But if you see here 3 by 9 and 5 by 9 how many numbers are falling in between if I, there are many numbers but it's still if I want to write down an easy way there is only 4 by 9 right so but I want 5 here so how to do it if there are, if there are sufficient number of uh, rational numbers between them you can do it here itself but since I am getting only one rational number here I, I, what I am going to do here is I am going to find out another equivalent rational number of 3 by 9 and 5 by 9 once again why I'm doing? I'm doing so that the gap between these two numbers will increase and easily I can find out. See, it's not like you cannot find out between these two, you can do it. So, I want to make the process much simple. So, I'm going to find out the equivalent rational number of 3 by 9 and 5 by 9. How can you do it? Like I said before, you can find the equivalent rational number by multiplying or dividing. Dividing is a not a good idea. Let's go for multiplication. So, when you're multiplying, you can multiply with any number. So you are finding the equivalent, right? Multiply with any number. Take an easy number so the multiplication will be easy. Now when you are multiplying with a number, you should take only that number, for example, um, in case of 3 by 9. Okay. Now I am going to find out the equivalent rational number by multiplying here with uh, 10. Okay. I am going to take 10. So 9 into 10, 3 into 10. Like I said, I can take any number. So this will be 30 divided by 90. Okay. Now the second number I have is 5 by 9. I am going to take the same number 10 here. If I take some other number, denominator will not be same. So I am going to take the same number for both uh, rational number. So here I am going to multiply with 10 in the numerator and denominator. So this will be 50 by 90. Now see, in place of 3 by 9, I'm going to consider 30 by 90. Okay, In place of 5 by 9, I'm going to consider 50 by 90. And you can see that between 30 and 50, we have many numbers, right? 31, 32, so on up to 49. Yeah. So I, from there, I'm going to pick any 5 rational numbers I'm going to write down. So from here, we're going to conclude. Therefore, 5 rational numbers 
rational numbers between so instead of writing 30 by 90 and 50 by 90 i'm going to consider 1 by 3 because 30 by 90 equivalent to 3 by 9 and 3 by 9 is equal to 1 by 3 so they all are equal if i cancel 30 by 90 i'm going to get back 1 by 3 okay so the five rational numbers between 1 by 3 and 5 by 9 are so I'm going to take any 5, you can take any 5, I'm going to start with 31, so 31 by 90, 32 by 90, 33 by 90, 34 by 90 and let me take the different number 40, okay, 40 by 90, they all are lying between this 1 by 3 and 5 by 9. Now so this is how you can do it now you you may multiply here like in in here i have multiplied with 10 you can multiply with 5 or any number i have taken 10 because it's easy to multiply and the gap between 3 by 9 and 5 by 9 will be more so more means more rational numbers i'll get so that is why i said like your answer will be different than the uh, your friend's answer or mine answer or your teacher's answer but we have to check is if these numbers are lying between the two given number now how to check now see the simple trick is if i find i'm going to find out the decimal form of 1 by 3 means if i divide 1 by 3 how much i'm going to get i'm going to get 0 0.333 something and if i divide 5 and 9 5 by 9 i'll get 0 0.55 so on like that so this numbers what i'm getting should lie between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 for example let me take here 31 by 90 it is it's lying between 1 by 3 and 5 by 9 right so if i divide 1 by sorry this 31 and 90 i'll get 0 0.34 0 0.34 lies between 0 0.33 and 0 0.55 yeah similarly let me take 40 by 90 so if i divide 40 by 90 i'll get 0 0.44 if i divide 40 by 90 I'll get 0 0.44 and 0 0.44 is lying between 0 0.33 and 0 0.55 so this is how you can check if you want to check if your answer is correct or not don't check for each and every number you what you got just random you take one number and you can check if you, if you think your answer is different or you might have gone wrong so this is how you can check if the number is correct or not I hope this question is clear this method will remain same for any rational number like if they are asking find out the 10 rational number or 2 rational number the method will remain same i hope this question is clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching